What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I will be all showing you the so-called nerfs that are currently going on in the test server for the titans and I will be showing you what each each one step by step showing you each of the details that they have um, information has been passed on to me and the other people around in the community and I'll basically be explaining them to you and then also I'll be asking for your opinion and I'll be sharing my opinion for each of the nerfs to these titan weapons modules and robots so let's begin we'll begin with the arthur so you all probably know the arthur very well it's all i think it's the most used titan for many reasons number one it's the cheapest titan you can get in the store besides the kid because everyone gets a kid for free it's the next cheapest titan that's why it's literally going everywhere because there are so many free-to-play players out there who just can't afford like a nodens or a minos or even an Aoming, so they go for an Arthur instead. So I really think this is so unnecessary and so unfair for all those players out there because this is a 20% Titan HP decrease. This is really bad, guys. This is so much. Even though they do say that it's plus 20% in the shield HP, we all know that the shield has so many ways to go on, go down nowadays. Like there's so many rocket weapons everywhere, and even some of the energy weapons that deal insane damage can break the shield of Arthur quickly. So, even if the Titan cost on the live server is minus fifty platinum, who's gonna buy the Titan if it's gonna get a, such a nerf? Who wants to buy it even if it's just three hundred fifty platinum? And how about for all the people who bought it for four hundred and are expecting the current stats it has now? So I really think this is unfair and. This should not happen. This is not, I really hope um, this doesn't happen. So tell me what you guys think about this and tell me, is the Arthur overpowered right now? Do you guys think it's overpowered? Do you guys think it's too strong? Or do you think that this is just so unfair? And do you just, do you think that like, why, are, why is Pixonic doing this? Um, comment it down below, share your opinions and thoughts. Next, we'll be moving on to the Aoming. Oh, the Aoming. You all probably know about the Aoming nerf. It was the only nerf that ever occurred for titans in the entire lifespan of titans currently in war robots so um before i think it had a 10 or 20 percent hp loss but the healing was made stronger and i think they're attempting to do it again as you can see the titan hp is net minus 10 percent but the heal duration is plus two seconds and the heal power is plus 10. i really think this is so unfair just because to all the alming users out there um they have invested in their Aoming, and right now, even if it was nerfed, it's still okay. It's not even the best. It's so easy to kill an Aoming. The Aoming is literally the easiest Titan to kill out of all of the Titans. Even a kid is e is harder to kill than an Aoming. So I don't know why they're trying to nerf the Aoming to the ground, because it, after this nerf, the Aoming is basically like, why would you run an Aoming anymore? Um, it's probably just because they want you to get the new Titan that's coming out, the Muromets, but that's just my opinion and like if you think about it but because of this so many people are gonna get affected out there like so many hundreds of thousands of people who use almings daily they're just gonna get um so very damaged because of this they're hangers and at this point maybe it's even better to run a kid than an alming after this nerf because this is just bad and even if it does say heal power is plus 10 remember guys that the per the 10 percent of maximum durability I think that's what it is, is repair. And so you lower the durability, you'll also lower the power of the repair, even if it's for a longer period of time. So it's basically a lose-lose situation for all the players out there. And it may cost 200 less, so maybe 500, but still, who's gonna buy a Titan which can barely survive against one Hawk ability run, right? Um, this is bad. Th I really hope this does not come to the live server. This is just horrendous. Tell me what you guys think about this once again. I know and I, I believe that most of you are going to say this shouldn't happen because the Ao Ming is already not really performing the best as it was once before so tell me once again in the comment section what do you think about this and do you think it should happen and do you think the Ao Ming is powerful enough or do you think that instead of this nerf it needs a buff instead in its current state so tell me what you think down in the comment section below. So next we'll be moving on to the Nodens. You all probably already also know the Nodens. We are, they're becoming more popular. Even I use a Nodens in my own account. I really love the Nodens because it's a healing titan. You can heal from 600 meters range and it's just an all-rounder. 
I can understand why Pixonic is trying to nerf this titan just because it is currently the most powerful titan in the game overall. Like even the Sharanga, it dies really quickly. But when you pair any titan with a Nodent, it basically um, makes the titan a whole lot stronger. You guys probably experienced it when the Nodent was continuously healing. Even if you were in a kid, an Arthur, an Ao Ming, a Sharanga, a Minas, Nodens is very plays a very very big role in the battlefield. But you can see that the nerf is very significant because Titan speed is reduced by 15% and defense points by 37. So they're basically removing defense and Titan speed. So I don't know. I can see the appeal of why they're doing this because they want to make the Nodens not as powerful and dominant as it is because a Nodens can basically brawl. It can snipe, it can support, it can do everything right now. It's the most powerful titan as also some of the larger YouTubers have said and probably you guys also know it as well. So I, you can see also that even though they are removing resistance, um, they're trying to make it, I don't know, a better healer in the sense because right now it's a really good healer but they're trying to make it more healing oriented because um, many people are just using their nodens to brawl and to fight in the midst of the combat and it survives because it has an insane amount of amount of hp and a ridiculous amount of resistance which makes it ultra very very good against all those players out there so you can see here that also they'll increase the defense points for each connection so every time you connect your uh, healing healing um pulse or laser to one of your teammates you're going to get a extra 20 percent resistance so you can get up to 60 percent resistance if you are connected to three players so i don't think this nerf is that bad it's just that it's gonna nerf it for a lot of those players out there who are using the nodens as a brawler or as a fighter in mid combat because the speed is just so bad i tried i tested the nodens on the test server and it was just so slow i think it's almost about as slow as an arthur without the um speed booster so at this point i think i'm also going to have to be saving up for a titan accelerator if i don't want my nodens to go super slow but and at this point they're basically turning the nodens into more of a healer um we can take an example of this from the nightingale you all probably remember the era of Nike nightingale beacon capping the nightingale was designed as a, a robot to support its teammates but instead, it was used as a beacon capper instead of a more supportive role. It was used to capture beacons, hover over them for like 30 seconds straight. And as a result of this, um, Pixonic made the Nightingale have the inability to capture beacons while in flight. So you all probably know. But instead of this, they also made it slower and it has a larger healing range. So they basically turned it into a better overall healer. So I think this is what they're trying to do with the nodens as well making it more team focused because as you can see you get more resistance for each of the connections you make with your teammates so instead of being a lone wolf you kind of need to rely on your teammates to survive in the battles so i also don't really know what heal ability range is from 75 to 100 meters for just for the reason that the current nodens right now has a 600 meters healing range so i don't know what this means but um we'll be seeing and yes so let's move on to the gendarme. I really don't know why they're doing this. I think they're just doing it to accompany the nerf of the Ao Ming. I really don't support this. Like, why would you minus 10% damage? It isn't that major, but it's still basically another um, very, very bad thing that's going to happen. For all those people using the laser Ao Mings, this is a humongous nerf. Though, we also have a buff because I bet you all know the crate. The crate was the new weapon that was released um, in the 7.0 update. I think it came with the Sharanga and the Striker. So the crate is actually very very bad weapon right now. If you have it, it's even better just to use the retaliators instead for the reason that they em they the crates um, empty their ammo so so fast and they take 8 seconds to reload. So the current buff that's coming to the crate is um dot effect is increased by 10 percent so when i was testing it on the test server it was basically not non-existent the crate was still just as bad as it is especially in breaking arthur shields um the dot is basically not there the dot effect um even if it was increased by 10 percent i didn't notice any changes so st st guys if you have the choice stay steer clear of the 
great um don't get it until further updates because i'm sure if it still continues to underperform um what pixonic wants there's def they're definitely going to buff it again in the future and now we come to the last two nerfs of the day so plated armor kit and antimatter reactor oh no 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 this is bad guys to all of you who invested including myself who literally saved up to get those plated armor kits and anti-matter reactors they are nerfing it hard minus seven percent durability and damage bonus i don't think this should happen because these modules are so expensive to get into upgrade so i don't i don't know what pixonic was thinking when they were thinking about what they should do but this is just bad i really hope this doesn't come because all of the people not even just the free to place um they're going to get severely nerfed like all of the in time and platinum that you invested into your plated armor kits and antimatter reactors are going to the trash can because minus seven percent durability and damage bonus so that is terrible i hope this does not come to the live server as well so that was basically it guys um Thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe i'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers before the end of 2021 and once again um tell me what you think about all of these new changes in, down in the comment section below tell me um do you are you are you affected by some of these changes that are coming and do you think that they're fair or not fair so um until the next time i will be catching you in the next one